puis rentrer Et je ramène plein de vivres Et merde, le canard est mort. Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. La chevauchée fantastique. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. Ouais, ils sont pas décidés à venir ce matin. Mais c'est pas grave. Au moins j'aurai eu l'occasion de discuter avec toi. mignon ah tu fais partie des personnes que j'apprécie donc euh, voilà quoi à Lucard je le supporte euh, Chilo euh, à peine et toi je t'aime bien le mec est prêt à dire n'importe quoi pour garder ses viewers Je suis un bon alimenteur, hein, fais attention. Get down here now! 
you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Il va falloir que vous en mettiez un peu plus en fait. Hein. 7 ou 8 000 de plus. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Jack's not down here. Let's go check upstairs. Arthur, we need you up here now. Putain, mais vous pouvez rien faire sans moi, sérieux Vous êtes pas censé être tous des bons, euh, des bons choses.
J'ai battu mon record, GG Hey, salut à Lucarne Justement, on parlait de toi avec Lutaz depuis tout à l'heure. Joyeux anniversaire Lucas. J'avais oublié que c'était ton anniversaire tous les jours. J'avais oublié cette règle. The boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston's scared rotten. I mean, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, you got a problem? Not a problem. Visitors, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. 
Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Rosk. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetite. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vandalind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'll be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us will be gone soon i'm afraid i can't and when i return i'll be with 50 men all of you will die run away from this place you fools run come on get your damn hands off of me boy what now we get out of here and quick any ideas i know a big old house Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got in a dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Bah, j'ai écouté les dialogues du jeu en fait. Euh... Puis vous étiez en pleine discussion entre vous. Euh, j'ai pas voulu m'immiscer. Euh... Je veux dire, voilà quoi. On est en train de se faire poursuivre par les agents du FBI, euh, Bill et Bilo. C'est plus important que de parler. C'est une idée. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We make too much noise once again. We drew right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his game. Jose too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on. 
It ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. J'ai proposé un plan à 3 là, et ça a pas l'air de passer. Bizarre. Ah oui, c'est là où on a... Enfin, il y a des gens. Allez des bisous euh, Luta, Et essaye de passer une bonne journée Malgré tout C'est ça, ouais. Ah parce qu'il y a Lucard et moi on va rester là, on va streamer. On n'aura pas l'occasion de, de voyager comme toi. De découvrir des nouveaux lieux. Je pourrais peut-être nous faire un. 
un, un petit périnef photo. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Il était mort, mais il est quand même descendu du lit pour pas que je sois obligé de le, le prendre sur le lit. Comme il est gentil. On va d'abord le balancer par là. Putain, je peux pas le balancer par-dessus la, la barrière. Putain, ce jeu qui veut te forcer à faire des allers-retours. Le fleuriste a enlevé les épines de sa rose. Je trouve ça dommage. Je sais pas quoi te dire, Lucarne. Certainement pour pas que les gens lui disent Ah, oh, je me suis piqué T'as acheté une rose pour qui, mon Lucas Pour moi Je suis 
pretty sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. Ah, ça, ça donne une bonne occasion de tout nettoyer. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapitre 4, Saint-Denis. Saint-Denis, bourgeois On m'expliquait pourquoi les usines de coton font de la fumée noire. Vraiment là... C'est le mot presque. Hein. Fais gaffe, tu risques de prendre des suprêmes de. Oh. Joseph Barnes. If you try the cocaine gum there, take my advice. Start with only a little bit. Let's have a look in here. Supplies to sell. J'ai pas besoin de thunes donc euh, on va pas vendre des trucs à la con.
Je pèle comme pas possible. Ah bah ça, à mon avis, dans les jours à venir, tu vas devenir tout blanc, oui. Enfin, tout rouge, mais plus pâle. To drink anywhere, it would be the Bastille Saloon opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Just watch yourself, he's got quite the reputation. Tu veux un petit whisky, s'il te plaît? Mais j'ai l'argent? Putain, ces missions se dirigent, quoi. Ah, ils vont découvrir que en fait dessous il y a des écailles. Je vois le genre. Bah, mets-toi pas sur la route, t'auras moins de problèmes. establishment is our best lead but i haven't had any joy in there so far so i should just give it a shot i think so just keep it cool you know me justement you back here and on yeah. hello <laughs> funny you should say that well you know how it is I told them, I say, that's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's, that's why we love it. Born and Wait, can I get a drink here? <laughs> well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> But let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. A dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister... I ask you a question. You ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, 
Leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. He makes my skin crawl. I'm so spoiled, you cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, and friend, you'll be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Yes. And then after 24 men find any married person, male or female, wearing a wedding ring, turn that ring twice, and then the next man you shake hands with will become your husband. What? Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Thank you. Lucky for him, he didn't have a ring on his finger. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell him. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Here, come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real...